are here at the Constitutional Court of Zambia, and uh, we basically came to file a petition, which we have successfully done. And uh, the petition is uh, uh, with regard to the nature of appointments that have so far been made by President Haka Inde uh, ever since he ascended to office as President of Zambia. We believe that the appointments that he has made have been not regionally diverse. In other words, we believe that these appointments have been regionally biased and to some extent they have been based on tribal lines. And we believe that as a nation we need to address the issue of regionalism. Uh, when someone ascends to the office of president, we want to set a precedent whereby when a president ascends to office, they should not use that office to appoint people who are in their phone book, people who are their kinsmen and people whom they come from the same village with. And we believe that this is a problem that is not uh, isolated to President Haka Inde Ichirema. It is a problem that has been there for most of Zambia's uh, uh, other six presidents. Uh, it has been common practice whereby when someone ascends to the office as president, they basically begin to dig the people who are their relatives, people whom they come from the same uh, village, same chief, same province, and plant those people in positions of authority for one reason or the other. And when a new president comes into office, they basically reverse what the previous president did, and then they plant their own people. So we end up not having a stable uh, civil service. We end up not having uh, stable institutions, whether you are talking about parastatals or you are talking about security and defense wings, because every person who comes wants to plant their own people. And from our standpoint, we believe that uh, our petition, which we filed this morning, will give an opportunity to the court to set a precedent so that uh, it will be applicable not only to President Haka Inde Ichirema and his uh, regional and uh, tribal appointments, but to any future president, wherever they might come from, so that they will be prevented from using the office of president to basically appoint people who come from the same village, people in their phone books, people who are their uncles and uh, so on and so forth. When you read the Constitution of Zambia, uh, the 2016 Constitution of Zambia, you realize that it provides very stringent requirements for making appointments to public office by a president in terms of the criteria that needs to be followed and the need to ensure that such appointments are regionally diverse. But the constitution doesn't mean anything if no one is there to enforce it. And that is why we are here this morning at the Constitutional Court of Zambia to make an attempt at enforcing the constitution to give the court, the Constitutional Court of Zambia, an opportunity to enforce the Constitution. Uh, because Parliament did its part, they enacted the Constitution of Zambia 2016, which by the way is a very modern uh, Constitution. It has a lot of good provisions. But like I said earlier, for as long as those provisions in the Constitution are not enforced, then it will remain as a useless document. So we are hopeful that um, the court is going to uh, give us justice um, uh, once our petition is heard and that uh, the reliefs that we are seeking are going to be granted to us. Thank you so much and um, have a good morning.